I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. What the... Fuller, too. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. How old is Fuller, really? Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. No! Oh, no! Ah. Oh. My God! What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. seen this symbol. It is trapped. Confronting powers that surpass you. Looks like things are back to normal.
What's going on? It never ends. Damnation. That's... That's me. Oh, God! know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friends. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Holden? They do to you. Can you speak? What is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no! Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! <laughs> I'd be better off finding a tool. Perfect. should do it. Let's move. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. She's 
weak physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things, things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now.
about Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house. The rituals. The secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? 
I'm not sure what happened, but I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture, in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. 
You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. 